Stop. I'm talking to this. I'm talking to myself. Okay. So it is now the 24th of January. A week has gone past. And my progress on eating fruit. I did stop bananas for a little while. I think it was about a week before I started this. And I've anyway, I've gone back on to bananas. So the fruit I eat now every day is apple. <coughs> It's now quarter to midday, quarter to twelve midday. They've been asleep all morning, and yet as soon as I get my phone out, my camera out, press record, yay! Everything. Anyway, so now my daily fruit intake is um, for lunch. I have apple and banana, and what I do with these, I chop them up and put them with me, my gluten-free crackers and my bit of salad. So I just eat them with everything else. I don't save them until after the salad. I eat them with the salad and it all goes well, very well together. So, oh, I have me clementine, shelf is a bit bad small. I have me clementine in the evening, about an hour or two after dinner. So I'll snack on that. And so far, it's, it's gradually changing the way I crave. You know that when you crave certain foods and they're normally high in sugar or high in fat and it seems to be changing. I did have, finished over there? I did have a tiny bit of chocolate but for the first time in ages I didn't particularly enjoy it because like I said if you change the foods that you eat your taste buds change. Now that's not to say I'm never going to eat chocolate again or I don't like chocolate anymore or I've gone off it. What's happening is is that my mind is not going oh I've got to have some chocolate oh I must have a sweet fix. It's not particularly saying that anymore. My mind is going I mustn't forget my apple and my banana because I'm looking forward to that. So it's changing. <coughs> anyway, with the shopping that's coming this week, tomorrow, I'll get it delivered because I can't. Oh, going around the supermarket, it does me in for the day. Anyway, the shopping I'm getting delivered tomorrow is me apples, bananas, and clementines, but at this time I've added grapes. So over the week or a couple of weeks, whenever I'm ready, I'm going to add another fruit each time. I don't know what I'm going to add the following time, I don't know. But each time I'm going to start building up my fruit intake. Um, over the weekend, I had uh, fried tomatoes. These are fried in olive oil. Fried tomatoes and fried this isn't bacon, because I'm vegan, so this isn't bacon. Really nice. And I like to have them in a, in a roll. Well, as you know, I'm gluten intolerant, so I've gone over to gluten-free rolls. And they're quite nice. Not the same as bread, but they are quite nice. But what I've found, I don't know what it is, but again, it was slowing the digestive system down. It was making everything <laughs> backed up, although I was still going. I weren't going enough, so to speak. Anyway, the fruit, loading up the fruit, because it's a natural product and you, you, know, you, you eat it as it looks, um, it seems to go better with my... It's moved again. It's all right, there's a statue over there on the mantelpiece that keeps moving. I don't know why. Every time I look at it, it's moved. Weird. So, um, yeah, by going on to natural foods, 
it seems to be better for my digestive system. And I'm talking about all of my digestive system. I'm talking about my stomach, I'm talking about the large intestine, small intestine. I'm not getting uh, cramps anymore. I'm not getting bloated anymore. I'm not getting backed up anymore unless I drink free bread. Yeah. Um, it just seems to suit my system better. And I'm still quite bad with the arthritis because although it's moved up a few degrees out there, we're not below, below freezing anymore. It's still, I've had, the last few days I've had a really bad neck. Um, I've not been able oh. to exercise. Yes, hello. I've not been able to incorporate any exercise in. I don't think I've lost any weight. But. Do you mind? <laughs> what? I don't think I've lost any weight, but what is happening is my body shape is changing it's it's shrinking down but I've not lost any weight if you see what I mean I think a lot of the bloating and a lot of the uh, slow digestion I think a lot of that is now going it's moving over to better digestion um, I'm going to look at the NHS if you're in the UK if you've got any any health concerns or whatever, obviously go and see your GP, but if it's not a GP or whatever, then have a look at the symptoms on the NHS website if you're in the, the UK. NHS website is always the best thing to go. But on there is exercises specifically aimed at, oh, at arthritis. I know, but let me sit back and then I can stroke you. So I'm going to have a look at that later. I think I've looked at it once before. Look my nose. Yeah, I think I've looked at it once before. And yeah, I don't think I've tried the exercise. So what I'm going to do later, that's my arm, it has my shoulder. It does. I'm going to turn around a bit. There you go. That's better. That's my shoulder otherwise. But I'm going to have a look. So if you're crippled up with arthritis, finding it very, very difficult, go over, if you can, to the NHS website and put in arthritis exercises. I think it takes you to um, a part that's called versus arthritis, but I've not looked it up yet. I've heard of it. But, yeah, I've not looked it up lately. I'm going to go over there, I'm going to see if I can do some of the exercises because with arthritis you're very tempted to not move the joint because it hurts but what happens is it seizes up even more and if you can move your joints, move them slowly and gently and just do what feels nice for you just don't overdo it, don't strain anything, don't pull anything because an athlete, yeah, they could pull a muscle and then after a while they'd be better again. But an arthritis sufferer aggravating an arthritic joint is not a good idea. It can set you back weeks, literally weeks. So I'm going to keep this one short and sweet. Like I said, I'm adding more fruit. My mind is getting used to the fruit. Dogs love fruit, by the way. They like the apple and banana. They're not keen on the clementine. And of course they love grapes, but I don't think you can give dogs grapes. I think they're really seedless grapes. I don't know, but you can. I don't think grapes are any good for doggies. But apples are, yeah. And banana, they're fine with apples and bananas. So they share the apple and banana with me, don't you? I'm looking at you. You're looking at the door, aren't you? What are you looking at? What are you supposed to have there? What are you looking at? Can you see some fairies? Is there any fairies dancing around? 
Oh, I know. I'm going to have some lunch in a minute. Yeah. No. 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 So I'm going to leave that one here. Let me know how you're getting on. Because if you've not started increasing your fruit intake, you will feel better off even if you just in, even if you just introduce one just one fruit and munch on that fruit for a few weeks not that one particular fruit would be rotten in a few weeks but you know what i mean just introduce one fruit give it a week or two and introduce another fruit and slowly your brain will start to look forward to that like I'm, it's coming up to lunchtime now and i am starving i have orange this morning so i'm now i'm starving and i'm ready for lunch and i'm looking forward to my apple and my banana along with other bits and pieces yes i am i suppose you are as well aren't you this one's got to go vets next week it's got to have his teeth cleaned they're covered in plaque. Yes, they are. And hopefully there's nothing else wrong underneath. But apples will help with the plaque on dog's teeth. And so will anything else like slithers of carrot. Um, like I said, the, the spine in the middle of the leaves on greens and cabbages. Just cut the spine out. The dogs love that as well. And of course that's hard and crispy and crunchy and it will again clean their teeth but anyway i am digressing this is not about you two is it it's about me and my journey <laughs> so i'm going to leave it there i'll get another one out this week get another video out this week um, progress is slow, obviously, because I've not been able to exercise, and it is slow. If you're trying to lose weight, uh, make yourself feel healthier, then, and if you can't exercise, it does take a lot longer than somebody who can exercise. Obviously, they can get rid of the stone in a month or something like that. But someone who can't exercise, it takes longer to shift the weight. But by changing your mind's way of thinking into eating healthier foods, foods that are better for you, foods that will help your mind, foods that will be good for you, your body, by changing your way of thinking and coming off the crisps, chocolates, and oh God knows what else, cakes, Donut. Don't, don't mention donuts. Jam donuts. I've not been able to eat one of those for ages because they're all full of gluten. But anyway, let me know how you're getting on. Leave a comment. If you're joining me on this journey, leave a comment. If you've not been able to introduce grapes or uh, any fruits yet, don't worry, that come. Think about the fruit that you really like. Not one that you think, oh, I don't know about that, but one that you really like and start with that one. That's all you need. It's just one to start with. I started with grapes ages ago and then I just left off grapes because I got bored and went on to apples and bananas. But I'm always choosing the fruits that I do like. And bearing in mind that a few months back or a year back or whichever I never ate fruit nothing <coughs> I would probably eat fruit once a year that's not good it's no good I was too busy on the cakes biscuits chocolates or whatever else there is out there but let me know you're getting on I forget we can do this journey together. 
have a look if you're in the UK, have a look at the NHS website, NHS website, and put in arthritis exercises. And if you can only move a little bit, then only move a little bit, it's better than nothing. So anyway, I'm going to leave it there. I just want to let you know how I'm getting on. And this, this cold weather's no good for my bones. Oh. But anyway, I shall make another video, let you know how I'm getting on. And I'll see you soon. Yay! <laughs> But I do have to say one thing. I am feeling better in my abdomen area. The fat is going because it used to bulge between the ribs and doing that simple exercise or movement would hurt my ribs. It would feel like my ribs are being pushed outwards by all the fat and that yellow globules of fat. Ugh. But now, most of that's going. It may have all gone down south, but it's going. It's going. If I can shift all of this from my crucial internal organs, if I can get it all off my liver, my kidneys, my heart, my lungs, stop them all being squashed and squished and not being able to work properly, I can shift it all from there, then I'm on to a good thing. So I'm following the fruit. <laughs> That's a good way. Maybe I should say that. I'm following the fruit. People live on fruit alone. Nothing else. They don't have meats, they don't have vegetables, they have nothing else apart from fruit. I come across in a minute, I come across a site the other day where a woman has eaten fruit for 30 years and nothing else. I personally couldn't do that. I couldn't do that. But it is possible. Obviously you have to be insane, I think, to live on fruit for the rest of your life. But you're living on natural products. It's natural foods. If you think about it, the more natural foods and the more un- processed foods you live on the better you're going to feel so start kicking out those processed foods because you don't know what's gone into them you can look at the ingredients and some things say like a chicken burger and it says 100 percent chicken is it i used to have chicken pies when i was a carnivore and it used to say made from real chicken breast but if you looked in that pie there were little squares of chicken I think, that's not a chicken breast. That is not from a chicken breast. They're squares. Chicken breasts are not square. That's not a chicken breast. But anyway, have a, have a really good look at what you are eating. And try and go to the ones that are better for you. The more healthier choices. We will say that. And we always think that the healthier choice, it does taste nice. But it's because your taste buds are used to fats, sugars and salts. In a minute, Loki, just wait. And your taste buds will change. They will change. If you're changing your food, your taste buds will change along with it. And your taste buds will come alive. You'll be actually, actually able to taste something. I'm going to leave that there. Just want to make a short sweet. Just leave it there. I'm going to go for my lunch. And love and peace to all out there. And I will make another one this week. And I will see you soon. Hiya, Loki. Let's go and get some lunch. Do you want some apple? Do you want some banana? Do you want some apple and banana thing? Yeah? Yeah? Let's go and get some. Let's turn this off first. Uh, 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 see? Doing it again. I'm not that good in winter. So... I'm going to love you and leave you, and see you soon.